A good Wednesday morning to you. I'm meteorologist Pate Malone for your 10 a.m. update on what's going on out in the tropics. Fortunately, we are 10 days into August now and things are fairly tame still out there in the tropics. Take a look what's going on. We're still just tracking this one tropical wave. It is known as Invest 97, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's any more organized than a regular row tropical wave. It's just a designation the Hurricane Center has given it to track it. It's still way out in the Atlantic. We're talking thousands of miles out there in the Atlantic here and uh, notice doesn't really look much better than it did yesterday. When we zoom in on it here, you can see that's where the broad sense of the tropical wave is. There's a little bit of a spin in there, but it's broad, it's unorganized, and this really doesn't look like anything more than some afternoon thunderstorms when you look at it on satellite, but it is still out here. It is still given a low chance of trying to organize, not saying it's not gonna do anything at all. It just looks unlikely. The chances are still at about 20 to 30% over the next couple of days. The thing is, if it's gonna organize, it's gonna have to do it in the next couple of days because the further west it gets, the closer it gets to the islands out here, there's Puerto Rico, there's the Dominican Republic, there's the Lesser Antilles, the further west it gets, it's still going to be moving into that high shear environment with a lot of dry air and tropical systems don't like a lot of wind shear. They don't like dry air. So as long as this thing keeps marching off to the west here, it's moving off into a worse environment. Nonetheless, could still try to become maybe a depression over the next 72 hours or so as it makes its way west and then kind of pulls north kind of northwest towards the weekend. So it will be still producing some moisture in these locations, but overall the chances of it developing are low. It's not in the best environment. It's actually um, in the warmer sea surface temperatures right now, but watch what happens by tomorrow and into Friday. It's moving into slightly cooler water, so that's certainly not going to help it organize much. And then it does move into warmer waters by this weekend and next week once it's north of the islands, but that's when the wind shear and dry air kick in. So remember, you got to have all these moving parts for a tropical system to organize. Low wind shear, no dry air, and warm temperatures. That'll typically get you a hurricane, but in this case, we got wind shear, we got dry air. So the warm water temperatures are not going to be enough to overcome that as we go into this weekend and early next week. Also notice kind of the trend of the motion of this west northwest and then it starts to pull to the north whatever moisture is down here as we go into the weekend so there you can see tracking the moisture and dry air that north air or the northerly part of the wave is where the dry air is as we go into the weekend and into early next week notice how that moisture gets strung out and pulled apart like that that's that shear that's the shear that keeps it from organizing and then that allows that dry air to infiltrate the system as well so that's why we don't anticipate this really developing into much of anything substantial Hurricane season, we're making our way through it. We're about one of the third, a little over one third of the way through the season when you look at the days from June 1st to November 30th. But what's interesting is when you break it down by how much activity happens throughout the hurricane season, typically it's heavily weighted kind of in the, the last two thirds of the season. The first one third, Traditionally, not a whole lot happens. The past couple of years, we've had a lot, but on a normal season, not a whole lot happens. And when you look at all the numbers through decade after decade, we still have about 90% of the activity still ahead of us. So put it in perspective, we still technically have most of hurricane season ahead of us. And it's really once you get kind of, we always as meteorologists say after August 20th, that's when things typically pick up. We will see if that happens this year, but late August, early September, and then throughout the month of September, that is our busiest part of the season. So we're not letting our guard down just yet. We will see. We're still calling for a near normal or just above normal season. Um, it just seems like things have been pretty slow based on what we've seen the past couple of years, which has just been these crazy busy seasons but so far things have been fairly normal. We'll see what the rest of the season holds for. So far we've had three named storms. Alex, Bonnie, and Colin. The last time we had a name storm was on July 3rd, so it's been over a month now. The next name is Danielle. There's really no Danielle on the immediate horizon, but that will probably change at some point. But for now, things are looking tame out there for the time being, even though we've got some tropical waves. It's still pretty hostile out there with the dry air, some Saharan dust, and shear. But that's going to do it for our Wednesday morning tropical update. Thanks for joining me. We'll do another one tomorrow.